Hi, this is Oshio, and welcome back to the Mystery of Catropolis. In the last part, we kind of... I don't know, we're just trying to work out what is going on. All kinds of bad things have happened, and we just need to work things out. But we're in the bazaar now, this is the first time we've been to this area. Who's this? Hello? It's Irene. It's a little quieter than usual around here. This has got to be the most depressing festival of peace ever. Nice to see a friendly dragon face around here though. No problem, let's have a look. This store had lots of different things. Food, stationery, decorations and books. Must be a thrift store. So it says it's a uh, knickknacks. Let's have a smell. There's a lot to smell here. Nothing that interests me though. Okay. And hang on, where, where should we go? So this market day over there. Th this is the end of town. So I guess we'll have a browse. Hello. Oh, another dragon. I don't see many other dragons here aside from Fleur. I hope you're not as loud as her. Oh, sorry, Jane. Let's have a look. I can see parchment and writing utensils and a bunch of other random things as well. Nothing really interests me. Okay, who dis? Will. Well, Serio. I knew the guy personally. He might be a big competitor of mine, but it's still sad to see his big venture go down like that. If Cake Tropolis had been a success, dragons might have started showing up at my stall too. It would have been great for business. There's another baker. Let's have a look. Sarah so is not the only baker in the city. It's nice to see the less popular bakers being so supportive. And who this? Johnson buys some quality green. Oh, right. I forgot dragons don't eat vegetables. Oh, do we not? My least favourite stall in all of Stalagshire, of course. Oh, can I, can I try? I don't want to lick any of that. Boop it. No, I don't want to poke my head into this stall anyway. Doesn't like it at all. This store is full of fresh vegetables. The freshness is the only thing good about it. They really, really don't like vegetables. So no nothing around the top. Can we go in here? Hello? Is this Fleur? This first place. Hey. Well, if it isn't Mr. Nice Guy, welcome. What's going on? I've never been here before. Have a look around. No customers. Must be a slow day. Slower than usual, yeah. I think with what's been happening around here lately, no one's really in the mood for shopping in a store run by a dragon. No one's taking chances, especially with my shepherd off to a meeting with Magus. Close up for the day, take the day off, it's fine. Uh, curious to see you here. I thought your shepherd's the one that does the shopping. She does, but I'm not here to buy things. I figured you weren't. What can I do for you? There's this thing I found. A canister of some sort. I was wondering if you could identify what's inside it for me. We think it's sulfur. We think it might be an explosive. Have a look. Thinking about it. At first glance, it's a generic looking canister. I think there's supposed to be a sticker label here, but it's been peeled off. But you're an expert with stuff like chemicals and smells, right? Perhaps if you could sniff out what chemicals are inside, I'll know what the canister's for. I suppose I could. Not that I have much else to do today. Hmm. Where did I put my extraction kit? Looking for it. As it is, I can't really smell anything. I'll have to use a probe to try and swab any residual scent from inside the walls of the canister. It might take a bit of time for me to organise my instruments and do the test. It's finicky work. I can wait. Hey, since I'm here helping you out, why don't you help out your good buddy and run me a quick errand while I do this? I'm too lazy. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess I could. What do you need? Out of boy. I've got someone from City Hall who's planning to visit the store to perform an inspection later today. I just need something that will help to polish up the wooden counter and hide all the scratches and marks. Got it. I'll find something. Wood polish. Okay, so they're going to try and find out what this stuff is. Meanwhile, oh, it's a skeleton. Okay, a shelf of goods. Let's have a look. All bottles and pouches and vials on sale. Fleur must have an amazing memory to know what everything is. The skeleton? Oh, so that's what human bones look like. And now I'm curious about dragon skeletons. Can I smell it? If it's plastic, it doesn't smell of anything. Lick it? Go ahead and lick it if you want. Watch out though, might grab your tongue. Okay. 
What? Really? Oh yeah, once it grabs on, it's not gonna let go. Spooky thing, skeletons. You're messing with me. Why didn't you give it a lick then? I I'm, I'm gonna do it. I think I'll pass. <laughs> it's not gonna do it. Boop it. I don't want to touch that thing. Okay. Oh no you don't. That place is off limits to you, buddy. Ah. Okay, I can't go. I can't go behind. So, let's have a look. Fleur's very different to other dragons. It's not just her feathers or the jewellery that she wears. By the way she speaks, I feel like I'm talking to a human, not a dragon. So, ask about wood polish. Go fetch some wood polish for me, or anything close to it. Uh, smell? Fleur carries that distinct dragon scent, but I can also smell perfume. She likes the flowery smells. Uh, shall we lick? She might not like it. I'm not sure why you're licking me. Are you trying to clean my feathers? I'll have you know my feathers have been shampooed and are in pristine condition, thank you very much. Okay, and a boop. Her feathers are so soft. I think her feathers would make a good pillow. Okay, so she doesn't mind being booped. No problem. I'm always careful and a little bit picky about who I boop. I don't want to upset anybody. But we need wood polish. Actually, I should probably ask these people. Hello. Wood polish? I doubt I'd find what I'm looking for here. Hello. Wood polish. Nope, don't set it. You. Stationary. We ran out. I've got a new stock coming in next week. No good. How about you? I don't think we sell wood polish. No. No, definitely not. No good. So... Yeah, the, the shops in this area aren't any good for wood polish. What about these guys? Hey, you. Boop. Huh? You want something? I just want a boop. Wood polish, do you know? Nah, I've got no need for it. How about you? I haven't got any on me at the moment. Can I? Can you help? I have wood polish at home, but I'm on duty right now. Oh, god damn. No one's got wood polish. I need to go and ask. I've got to find someone. So, the obvious place to go would be into town proper, but I think I'm going to go a bit off track. Wood polish? I don't have any on me. I thought it might have been like a painting material or something. Somewhere around here. I don't think there's anyone around here. But I'll do a quick circuit. You never know. You might find something. Got wood polish in your trash? No? No. Who about you? Opinionated Orwell. Why are you asking me? I don't know, I'm asking everybody. Because I'm a friendly kind of dragon. But this this area is no good. Let's go up. Maybe the the florist? Would they have wood polish? Might be worth a, a quick question. Hello. I know Tarvin does a lot of woodworking. Have you tried asking him? Okay. So Tarvin is... Hang on, I'm trying to remember. Tavern's the farmer, isn't it? So that means it's to the east. I'll ask people as I go. Might get lucky. Hello. Wood polish. Even if I had wood polish, why would I give it to you? Because I'm asking nicely? I don't know. Wood polish. I'm just a kid. I don't know anything about it. Fine, be useless. Let's go this way. Okay, any, any joy? My dad probably has some, I think. I have to wait until he gets home to ask, though. But all the shepherds are currently in a big meeting. Which is no good. Unless I go to the meeting. Which that might more, cause more problems than it's worth. I don't know. I never used wood polish. You're trying to polish something to make it as shiny as a jewel. Oh, this, this well guy. The well guy. How about you? I'd love to help you, but I can't because of my husband. Leave your husband. Your husband is not a nice person by the sounds of it. The way the way you describe him at every opportunity, it sounds like he's just not someone worth sticking around with. Wood polish. Yeah? I don't have anything, but have you tried peanut butter? Peanut butter? That's food. Hear me out on this. Apparently, the oil in peanut butter is good for polishing out cracks in leather and wood. Really? How do you know that? 
I saw Tarvin spreading some peanut butter on his leather couches. Then he told me off when he saw me licking away the peanut butter. I hope you're right. I guess I gotta go find myself some peanut butter. I've seen Avis eat peanut butter sandwiches before. Okay. Peanut butter. We don't have any at home. I think Ethereal will finish the last jar. Thanks, guy, but at least we got a clue. And if he reckons that there's some that Avis had, that'd be back at home, right? So we can raid the kitchen. I think it's worth a shot. I think it's worth a go. So this way, back home. It's just through here. Have you have you got any peanut butter? Nope, I ain't got none. It's not exactly something you just happen to be walking around with. Is there something down here? No. Up we go. And it's, yeah, just, just upstairs and that. Here's our house. Peanut butter. Kitchen. No, this isn't the kitchen. Is it? No, that's treasures. There is this safe. What is that about? Nothing happens when I try to best press the buttons on the safe. Have a look. It's been here since I moved in to the den seven years ago. I don't know the code to unlock it. That's that's like a weird big mystery thing. I don't know anything about that. This is the kitchen, right? Have we got peanut butter? Uh, examine. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Peanut butter. I hope Avis won't mind if I let Fleur borrow this jar for the day. Got it. That was nicely done. Very, very cool. So I guess we'll head back. Nice, we're back in town. We got the peanut butter. All of the market was useless. It was basically in our house the entire time. So that is good. Hey Fleur, I got your stuff. Hello, hello. Hey, you might be a friend, but no customers allowed behind the counter. And then she brought me something to cover up the counter scratches. Okay, I've got a uh, peanut butter. There you go. What's this? Peanut butter. Uh, <laughs> I didn't tell you to fetch me food. No, 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 no. Apparently the oil in the peanut butter is good for polishing wood and leather. At least it's what I've been told. By who? Uh, the dragon at the farms, Ethereal. Makes sense. I heard Ethereal was a bright one. I haven't formally met them though. Hmm. Give it a go. I'm out of options. I guess peanut butter will have to do. Thanks, bud. So, um, any luck with the canister? I did find something. Come around to the front. What did you find? I had a good smell of the residue inside your mystery canister. Okay, what's that? I don't know exactly, but I can tell that it ain't perfume. It's got a bitterness to its odour. Could be bug spray or cleaning agent. Okay. Could someone start a fire with it? Any pressurised canister has the potential to explode. But is the liquid flammable enough? Who knows? It's far too small of a canister to set a building on fire, that's for sure. But what about a crate full of these things? Would that be enough to make an explosion? Maybe. Again, we're not sure if it's flammable. You think someone read Cake with this stuff? People say it's a dragon, but there's a possibility that whoever caused the explosion might not be a dragon after all. Oh, I can see those gears working in that noggin of yours from the look you're giving me. You're onto something here. Imagine that. Some little saboteur setting Cake Tropolis on fire and making it look like it was a dragon that did it. But again, even if it was a crate full of these small canisters, is that enough to cause an explosion to set a building on fire? I don't know, I have to ask Avis, but I think I might know who's crazy enough to devise such a plan to frame the dragons. Really? You do, huh? Who do we suspect? There are humans that don't like us. It has to be someone who hates dragons, someone with authority. You mean like Enforcer Magus? Oh wow! She was going around yelling about a dragon in the woods, planning something terrible. Don't you think it's too much of a coincidence that the day after something terrible did happen? And suddenly everyone's turning to her as if she was right all along. Yeah, she was very suspicious of us. Pretty hostile, to be honest. Magus was quick to send us all to jail too. And I suppose as an enforcer captain, she'd have proper access to explosives. Right. It was all planned. 
then she sent her enforcers out into the woods to catch the dragon. But there was no dragon culprit. It was just for show, to get the public on her side. And today, the shepherds are having a, a meeting in City Hall. I assume Magus is there at the meeting. It's the perfect opportunity to lobby for a change in the laws regarding draconic citizenship, restricting our freedom, and perhaps leading to exile for us. I've got to tell Avis. You go do that, buddy. we we'll join you since my shepherd's there, but I've got to stay here for the inspection. They're pretty late, though. I'm not sure what's the hold-up. We suspect it's Magus. I thought the Enforcers were supposed to be sworn to Old Smokey. Maybe they've got some kind of beef. Hmm. Hang on. Fleur, you want to chat a bit more? Hey, you might be a friend, but no customers allowed behind the counter. Besides, where are you going to go find Avis? I mean, I guess I should. Where? Where is she at? Hmm. All the music stopped. Maybe it's because we're we're suspecting something terrible now. That there's like a massive well, essentially a conspiracy against the dragons, which isn't isn't fun. Hang on. This way is I haven't been I haven't been south before. I haven't been there before. Parts closed. We're investigating reports of suspicious activity. Please clear the area until we're done. So I can't do that. So I've got to find Avis, and they're at the meeting. Where's... Oh, it's in the city centre, isn't it? Top left of the city centre. I've not been inside before. So it should be interesting. What is this? Why'd there be blood? I'm guessing it blood and not, not paint, you know. I was in the back of my store when it happened. I can't. No, what? What is this? That's a lot of blood. The smell's overwhelming. Have a look. The trail leads south. I guess I should have a look. Lick it. I don't want to lick that. Alright, boop it. Nope, no touching. Smell. The smell makes me uncomfortable. It goes south. What's this? Can't be. This is horrible. Only a dragon's capable of this. This is definitely the work of a dragon. I don't feel safe anymore. What if they start attacking children too? Dragon, stand back. I've got a name. This is a crime scene. One of your kind did this. Someone said the dragon came and slashed her throat. A dragon killed Enforcer Captain. Someone killed Magus? But she... The dragons are too dangerous. Slay them before they kill more people. Chase them out. Eradicate them. Rementus, it's not a good time for you to be here. You should go. But I've got to tell you about something. That can wait. So our prime suspect is dead. That's... Nah, what? Look, why don't you go somewhere quiet and lay low for a bit? The murder's still fresh and the last thing people want to see is a dragon around the streets. Oh no, is this true? Did the dragon really murder Magus? That might be a strong possibility. Sirio was with Magus when it happened, and he saw everything. Go, Rim. If you stay around any longer, people are going to start forming an angry mob to storm down your den. What about you? I'll be here with the other shepherds to placate the crowd. I'll be fine. Just go. What? That is a twist. So is Sirius... Sirius had a thing about his parents got killed by dragons. Then his factory blown up. Has he now, like, turned against, you know, dragons again? Because if he's the only witness and he says a dragon did it, that, that casts my suspicion onto him. I, I don't know what to do. Hello. Hello. I don't know where this lady's getting her information from, but I think she assumes too much. I knew Cake Tropolis was a bad idea. Dragons probably disliked it and burned it down. I always knew they were trouble. This is crazy. This is really bad. You're such a nice dragon. You remind me of Milo, except smarter, bigger and uglier. I'm not ugly, but people are still talking to us fairly, fairly normally. Maybe word hasn't got out yet. I don't even know what to do. Poor Stereo. I really wanted to see Cake Tropolis and all the dragons. 
I wanted to see Fleur strut around with sass. I wanted to see old Smokey flex for the crowd. Oh well. Maybe I should check in on Serio. But if he's the only witness, his testimony is going to be very important. No? What do I do? What do I do? Let's read our clues. I met Vidori, a wild dragon that lives in the jungle close to Stalagshire. He confided in me about the possibility that the Catropolis fire might be a setup to get the humans to turn against the dragons. He even gave me a piece of evidence, a canister of unknown origin that might have fueled the fire. It's the only lead I have. I don't know anything about chemicals, but perhaps I could find someone who does. Maybe the bazaar's open today. Fleur might prove to be of some help to me today, with her expertise in pharmaceuticals. It might take a while to get the test done, so she's got me running some errands in the meantime. Or am I supposed to find wood polish? We got the peanut butter. After I got Fleur her polishing agents, we came to the conclusion that Kate Tropolis could have been set on fire by a canister explosion. Was it the work of a human? I had a sneaking suspicion Enforcer Magus might be the culprit. Her disdain for dragons and her swift decision to send all dragons to the containment facility led me to believe so. But just as I was going to tell Avis about my discoveries, someone had murdered Enforcer Magus, and by the intense reaction I got from the crowd near the crime scene, it might have been a dragon. People are getting angrier, and Avis told me to go find a secluded place to hide, away from the city centre. Okay, I've got to find somewhere quiet to hide, away from the city centre, which... I'm in the suburbs at the minute, probably not the best place. But I don't know where to go. This is Avis' house. He wouldn't like me knocking. I've got to find somewhere quiet. Maybe... I could either go home, but everybody knows I would be there. So maybe I'll go east into the forest. Let's just try that. We'll go and explore and try and find somewhere a bit quieter that people will leave us alone. Maybe I'll smoke his place. These guys have gone. Hmm. Those guys have disappeared. That's interesting. There's the well kid. He's still there. Yeah, I'll go to old Smokey's place. Because I've got to... I've got to find somewhere quiet to hide. This way? Here we are. This is a problem though. We got a murder. I still don't know where old Smokey is, but I guess this is as good a place as any for me to lay low for now. Just gonna hide. Hmm. How long are we gonna hide here for? A long old time, but we don't know when it's safe to come back. We don't know what's gonna be said in the meantime while we're away as well. We kind of kept out of, of, of the um like the legal proceedings we just want to live a quiet life but we don't really get any say about what we can do in this society what to do really bored i mean there is this altar it's a familiar site now i think about it i wonder because i sing how should i turn it oh okay uh turn it um, west? Oh, if I get all the dragons to look at this, that's it. Turn it east. Then if that would be a northeast, right? And this will be a northwest. If they're all looking at it, does that help? Mm, this is a familiar sight. No, maybe I should boop it. Boop it. It feels solid and won't budge. Just like the one in the jungle. I've got to do something. I've got to make sure these are all in the right direction. I don't think I can leave to look for clues. No, I'll stay a bit longer. So I've got to work out this puzzle. Are there any clues? Smell it. I smell old smoke is sent here. Could be he be behind the thing? Okay, look it. No. Any clues? There are traces of old smoke is sent on the statue. For something that's shaped like a dragon, it unfortunately doesn't taste like one. So, boop it. It feels a bit wobbly. I should be strong enough to move it if I really wanted to. So what direction? 
There's more writing on the statue, but the words are too faded for me to wait, make out. Okay, a strong ego always ready to face a challenge head on. It's the Stalagmus Dragon seeking independence, carving their own paths with their talons. Cunning and opportunistic, ready to flank an unsuspecting prey. And then whatever this one is. Hmm. So, if this one's the opportunistic one, should I turn it away? I'll have them all turning away. So if none of them are looking, that means they're defending. Maybe that's that's the way to do it. Any good? No. You're looking to flank unsuspecting prey. So... Go north? I'm starting to get a feel for the mechanism. I felt a click. The statue probably turned correctly. Okay, so up is good for this one. So this one, I don't even know. So that should go southeast. No, I didn't hear a click. I should just try all of them. Okay, so east is good for that. East is good for that. Uh, face it north. No. East. No. Away. It's independent, right? Okay. And it's just this one. So I've got this top left faces to the right. The bottom left one faces bottom left. The bottom right one faces up. And this one is our mystery one. Uh, west? I'm just like, that's it, that's it, that's it. It's open. So the top two face the thing. This one faces away and this one faces up. Okay, let's go into the lair. I've got no idea what's going to happen now. Hello? H Hello? It's an automatic doorbell. I guess Insigium is more in touch with technology than what I thought. Can, can I... Okay. Oh, are you done playing with my doorbell, Remensis? Sorry, I was just messing with it. <laughs> it's motion censored. So this is where you live, Insignium. So, you learnt my real name, and welcome to my secret home. The enforcers couldn't find you because they'd never be able to solve your puzzle lock. Humans can't move those statues on their own, and only a dragon could. As I said before, I do enjoy my privacy, though I do not mind the occasional visit from dragons. That is, if they're smart enough to get past my den's security. So, what brings you here? Someone burned down Catropolis. An unfortunate incident. I hope you understand my choice to stay underground while it all happened. No doubt, I would be the first to be hunted down by the farmers. Just because I used to breathe fire, it doesn't mean I still can. There are other things that happened too, just earlier today. Why don't we move over to the living area where it's comfortable? Then you can tell me all about it. I would be a bad host to just leave you standing around here. I mean, it's kind of important. I don't really want to get too cosy. It's this sort, sort of an emergency. All bad things have happened. That bad. People are blaming dragons again. They're angrier than ever. But you don't seem too surprised by that. Society is never perfect, little one. It's impossible for all of us to agree on one thing, and it's far more realistic that we should just learn to accept each other's differences. And by we, I mean we dragons in particular. We are proud species by nature, apex predators. We bow to no one. There will be dragons amongst us who lack patience and humility, those who act out of impulse, like a dragon playing vigilante and slaying the woman who ordered all of Stalish's dragons to be locked up. But it only made things worse. Now everyone's going to think a dragon destroyed Catropolis and killed Magus. You believe that it wasn't a dragon who burned it down? I thought Magus was the culprit, to be honest. Magus? The enforcer captain? Maya, that's a bold accusation. She would have been able to rig Catropolis with explosives. I'm sure, as an enforcer captain, she'd be able to do that. And she hated dragons. She predicted that something bad was going to happen on festival day, and coincidentally, the bad thing happened. It was all a setup. Magus might be stern toward the dragons, but I'm afraid she's not your culprit. I've known Magus since she started as an enforcer cadet. 
she's dedicated to serving and protecting the people of Stadokshire. Destroying Catropolis is not something she'd do. But, while it might be easy to blame her, you'd be hard pressed to convince anyone that she's your villain. You need evidence to support your claims. That's why I came here. Oh man, I found this. I think it might be related to the fire. It's the canister that holds something bitter inside. I thought I'd ask if you knew what it was. I figured since you know Static Shear and the Mayor well, you'd know somewhat of what comes in and out of the town. I know the canister. Oh, it skipped too quickly, but he knows it too well. It's an inhaler. A what? Medicine for asthma sufferers. They sit the canister into a small plastic apparatus and breathe through it when their asthma gets bad. Really? How do you know? I too suffer from asthma. A reminder that I'm not getting any younger. I use canisters similar to this and they help me to breathe. But the canister's tiny? Naturally the canisters I use are custom made for me, 20 times larger. Plus, there's other fluids in there that are meant to help me with my fire breathing problem. You mean medicine that helps you breathe fire? Supposedly. Mayor Kendrell and the enforcers are funding research into coming up with medicine that would allow me to breathe fire again. So my canisters contain my asthma medicine mixed with some highly flammable fluids. Highly flammable fluids? This is likely a spent cartridge, judging by how it's missing a casing. Strange, why would a caravan be carrying a crate load of spent cartridges? It probably came from a recycling caravan, making a transit in Stadokshire. We do sell away our spent cartridges in exchange for fresh ones refilled with medicine. That caravan was likely making the rounds to other cities and collecting cartridges to be recycled. Refilled with medicine? Would it be possible to fill the canisters with other liquids? Very possible. It's common practice in Stadokshire for people to fill up a canister with petroleum gas for barbecues. The large canisters are built for it, as well as for me. Hmm, things to think about. How often do you go around carrying your personal canister? I don't take my medicine out in public. I mostly use them here at home. But I did arrange to have a few placed in Catropolis, since I might have needed them for my planned visit yesterday. It's a shame I had to cancel that. Would it be possible for someone to set off an explosion by taking a few of your spent cartridges and filling them with your personal medicine? Then place them in Catropolis and say that you wanted them there. I don't manage the shipments personally, so it's possible. Where do people go to fill up the canisters with your medicine? The same place where they fill spare canisters with other gases, at the recycling plant near the slums. Wait. I see what you're trying to do. You want to catch who's responsible for destroying Catropolis, right? Of course. People are blaming the dragons, and it's not fair. A noble cause, but... Do you think it's maybe too late? Too late? Even if you're able to solve the mystery, even if you catch the person responsible. There's still maggots to consider, and the dragon who killed her. Do you think people are still willing to forgive? Um... Yeah, if the evidence is hard set, then yeah. If it's really true that a dragon killed Magus, would people understand it was solely because of all the unfair treatment the dragons have been getting? Hmm. Your faith in mankind is admirable. Just a final word of caution, Rementus. Do not squander yourself with high expectations. That way, it hurts less if you fall. We are apex predators after all. We will always be seen as a threat to them. And that's in their nature. Thanks for the talk, Insignium. Hmm, lots to think about. But I guess we're going to have to have an explore a little bit more in the next episode. This is Ushio signing off, and hopefully I will see you next time.